to do a video uh, to show a technique that I find to be really effective uh, whenever you have a spunky little male cockerel uh, that all of a sudden gets sassy. Um, it's pretty normal whenever they are feeling their oats, so to speak, and it's springtime and they're just uh, maturing. Uh, and if you haven't worked with them much, or sometimes even if you handle them all the time, they will, they will test you. And if you don't get on it right away, if you don't kind of tell them you're, I'm in charge, you're not, uh, it can develop into a serious problem where your male is attacking you all the time, he becomes dangerous, and then you either have to, you know, get rid of him um, to somebody who understands the problem, or uh, you end up eating him, or <laughs> giving him to somebody who will. So uh, today, this guy actually was the first time that, uh, Okay, he came at me, um, and he actually did get a little nip of my skin, and right away I decided, or right away I took action. And if you, I found that if you do this, especially immediately, the very first time they show any signs of, I hate to say aggression, because in a lot of cases it's not aggression, it's just they're trying to assert their dominance, um, which is what every chicken does. That's why there's a pecking order. So. What I'm going to do is what chickens do. It's very natural, and it may look a little harsh, but compared to what some people do, where they, you know, they say, "Oh, just kick them, beat them," you know, it. This is much kinder. And some people suggest carrying it around, loving on it, hand feeding. That can work um, for some chickens. Uh, honestly, it's a lot of time to spend with a bird that I, quite frankly, don't have. And this I found works. 95% of the time and it's very fast and sometimes you do have to repeat it a few times because they you know a few of the more stubborn ones won't get the picture uh, and there are cases where a bird is just plain mean and that's just his disposition and you have to make the choice what you want to do with him um, but so this is what we're gonna do what I do with the bird immediately when they make that first like for him when he made that first strike what I did was I took him down I put him Sort of down on the ground, and I took my hand. And I pushed. Him, no, no, baby. I pushed him down, just like a more dominant um, bird would, a male or female. And uh, then I pushed him down, and I grabbed on the feathers on the back of it, the back of his head, and I pulled back like this. Okay, it's very. Um, it's it's not it's not that bad actually. I mean, you see, I'm not hurting him in any way, shape, or form. But he knows. Okay, you know, this is. He's, he's programmed to accept that this means I lose and you win, you're the dominant, okay? And then um, after that, you know, you might only have to do it one or two times and that's it. And hopefully if you do it right away, <laughs> guys. And now see, they wanna come up and show that they're dominant. Um, and if I let him go, he would probably, um, stop, that's not nice. He can't, he can't defend himself. <laughs> she's not asserting her dominance, she's just annoying because emu and that's what emus do they peck on everything yeah. um, i can't even tell you she blue thinks that uh there are worms my i'm i'm older my skin is thin my veins pop out and she thinks there are worms on my hand and so it is her job in life to free my hand of the worms which um if i don't keep an eye on her all the time she's really quick she'll get me anyway it's a but yeah so that is one of the best methods i found for Sort of um, stopping and a again not aggressive but a, a dominance behavior stopping that in its tracks um, if you have any questions please post them and uh, I hope you got some